Welcome back to oh. Super Summer Star Wars Spectacular. One of the best video games of all time. Playing Shadows. Eric is joining us along with TK. Hello. So we got I missed the first twice part. as many people. As we were getting back to this point, and having not played this game in the better part of 20 years, mm -hmm. it uh, I remembered every single whoa, bit of whoa, it. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> You're drunk, Dash. Go home. Whoa. For those of you guys following at home, we are hot on the heels of uh, Robert Fett. Yep, Robert Anderson Fett. Anderson. <laughs> Bob A. Fett, dude. Bobby Bob Fett. Fett. Yeah, Bob Bobby Fett. Fett. Oh boy. So uh, this one of the coolest dudes that's, that's not in much of anything in Star Wars. No, yeah. Mr. Dash yeah, Rendar. Cause like what Dash Rendar was in like a book or two. Books yeah, we talked about maybe? this in our last. There was a paperback and a uh, comic book. We thought that, and those were all post this game, right? Uh, they no, took a this risk. Was based on the book, I think, or the comic. Well, the comic came out when the game came out. Well, he, I remember that he was he was practically on unknown board. when this game came out. I know, and yeah. they took a huge risk. Like, wait, we have all the plethora of these great characters like Luke and Han. No, let's base it on Dash, mm -hmm. but have them like in it too, like side characters. Yeah, they're side. Now. Let's have Dash be a more hardcore badass Han Solo. It's like if Han Solo and Boba Fett had a kid. Dash? Oh, yeah. It's Dash yeah. Rendar. Yeah. Coolest motherfucker in the galaxy. He is pretty badass. I was really saying to... Uh, yeah, look at him. Just look at those shoulder pads. Only in the 90s yeah. will you have shoulder pads that glorious. They almost look like... Holy Luke, fuck. Luke <laughs> yeah, look, or, or like fucking Cable from fucking X-Men. Yeah. I want those Seekers. <laughs> no, no, no. I was saying, I had, I had a lot of action figures from this line, from the Shadows of the Empire line, because I love this game so much. Me too, man. I had the fucking, uh, I had the, like, Bounty Hunter Chewie. Oh, yeah? With the flat top cut and shit, and, like, <laughs> a cybernetic fucking eye patch, mm -hmm. and, like, an axe and shit. I was badass in armor. I had, like, uh, I had Luke in the uh, Imperial Guard costume. But it you was like some like off. yeah some super cool like that fusion shit some super night. cool fusion yeah, between the Imperial Guards and Darth Vader's armor for some reason mm -hmm. that was tight and then I had a Dash Rendar action figure which as as me and Sean were saying pretty much everybody who had a Dash Rendar action figure lost it yep. I lost mine for like ever I found it one time when I was just like because I had like I had, my brother had an ass ton of toys that I inherited. Plus, like, my toys that I got. So I just had a butt-ton of fucking, like, action figures and shit. And so stuff was just mingled around, couldn't find a lot of stuff. I was looking through some of the shit, and I found it one time when I was younger. I was like, yes! Are you and then, and, and then, but, but stuff. promptly, like, a week later, it was gone again. And I haven't seen it since. Goodwill. That's, it's always the mom. I haven't, no, dude, my mom, my parents are notorious for keeping every goddamn thing that we have. That's why I have so many goddamn toys, because they never gave away any of my brothers. Oh. Like, I had a sick, like, fucking, like, Masters of the Universe play sets and shit, and, like, <laughs> He-Man toys and shit, and G.I. Joes, and, like, years. And his, like, OG fucking Star Wars toys, like, he had, like, the old ones. Oh, yeah? Uh, the, and, like, the C-3PO, like, carrying case for him and shit. Oh, cool. And they had little plaques where you could put stickers for their names and shit on it. And right, right, right. Yeah. Wasn't there like a Millennium Falcon version too? Oh, there was like, yeah, and there was a Vader one, and there was like, yeah. There was just like the, the like, chest <laughs> up. <laughs> I was going to say, <laughs> you just practically said to step <laughs> over, and you missed. And like, you know, what? You gotta go bigger which I hole. talked about. Yeah. Well, I guess those aren't, those don't exist anymore, but in the original Super Star Wars Summer... Yeah. Whatever. My brother had, the, like, the Ewok Village playset and shit. Oh, yeah. That was tight. Because he was like, you know, when did, when did, uh, well, Empire was, well, the end of the 80. Yeah, it was like 80 something. 81, I think. Okay, so my brother wasn't quite old enough, because my brother was born in 81. But he was, like, prime time for Jedi. Yeah, because a lot of those were Jedi. Like there were Ewoks and oh, yeah. it's all and uh, the fucking the yeah, pig pig man pig man dude from 
fucking Jabba's place and like. Yeah. Good morning. Yeah. Good morning, guards. Good morning, guards. Good morning, guard. He had a uh, Palpatine, old Palpatine, and an old uh, Vader and shit from those, and like, it was tight. But the '90s figures were so much better. The '90s were truly the golden age of Star Wars action figures. Nowadays, they suck dick. If you want a good Star Wars action figure, figure you have to pay the extra money for the Black Series ones. They're like straight up ones. They're just like garbage. Or like the '80s ones now. They've gone. They've reversed because action figures aren't as popular anymore. Right. Because video games. So it's like we're not gonna put as much money into them. So this basically the action figure industry has gone backwards like 30 years go. of like the main like little kids like what you get for like seven bucks or whatever at fucking Walmart or whatever you know what I mean right or like five bucks whatever your basic ass action figures are just garbage now to get the specialty ones <laughs> that was easy it was like easy when they came out with the action figures for uh, Force Awakens was when I noticed it, because I, I was like, oh, sweet, I want to get a fucking Kylo Ren action figure. Yeah. I went, and then I, like, I found him, and I was just like, wow, he doesn't, like, actually have a fabric, uh, like, you know, the little skirty thing. Doesn't have fabric that, it's just hard plastic, and, like, that breaks where the legs fucking bend, and they only, well, I mean, they've always only had, like, that one point of articulation, but they just looked super stiff and just shitty. Yeah. And I was like, where are the, like, Star Wars figures I loved? And then I was like, oh, you gotta spend an extra, like, $3 and get the fucking Black Series ones. My brother had a sweet, uh, Luke, Hoth, Tauntaun sweet. action figure that came with, like, Luke's, uh, binocular things yep. that he used, the, the green binocular thing. Yep. And uh, mm, the blue lightsaber. Yeah. And I think it had a Wampa, too. It might have been just, I don't think it was... Him and a Tauntaun. I think it was him and the Wampa. Just like a set, like yeah. an action figure set. It was really that was one thing that Star Wars did amazingly too. Was action figure sets. They um, right now they have a like um, I was just in Walmart the other day, and they have a series going now where they're like the how the like the Black series originally started as like bigger action figures. Mm -hmm. They're like seven inch instead of like the three point five, like the smaller ones, you right. know. Um, but they're doing a series like a like a Star Wars classic series with the old like Kenner action figure boards, okay. like the cardboard. Yeah. But it's but they're like the seven inch tall ones, and they're kind of like they I saw like a Luke and an Obi Wan and shit. They look tight as fuck. Yeah, they're like again like probably like twenty bucks. You want the good shit? You have to fucking actually have to pay for it. Now. Or you can just get the Lego sets like me, because I love the Lego sets. Ugh. There's so many good Lego sets. Oh, dude, I was always mad because, you you know, my favorite Jedi is fucking Quinlan Voss. Mm -hmm. And they did a uh, an action figure set for, like, the Clone Wars TV series. Right. Or not action figure set, Lego set. Lego set, yeah. And he was in it, but it was one of those big ass ones that cost like seventy fucking dollars. Oh, so it was like a huge. Yeah, and he was one of the like six figures that were included in it. And I was like, I want the Voss minifigure, but I don't want to. St I'm not gonna spend seventy dollars on a ship I don't want, and like a bunch of other characters. So it's just like I've just been biding my time till I eventually just go on eBay and just like give me that. Yeah. Quinlan Voss was in the. Uh... Clone Wars animated yep. series, wasn't he? Yep. He was also in uh, Phantom Menace. Yeah. Yep, for like a second. Yeah. That's where he was... Uh, he, he was just a regular extra back then. Yeah, his main... His introduction as a character and like oh, a large part of his story originally was in the comic books. Mm -hmm. um, they took a character that looked cool from a background of Phantom Menace. And it was just like, he's going to be a Jedi. <laughs> and they made him super badass and it awesome. It made for a really badass fight scene with Obi-Wan Kenobi. Because that's what Oh, that, once we got to Clone Wars, yeah. Yeah, in Clone yeah, Wars, yeah. Yeah, um, I'm talking before that. Oh, absolutely. Before Clone Wars, before all that. Yeah, long um, before. 
And because he got brought into the comic books around the time of the Attack of the Clones movie. Mm -hmm. Um, And he had a bunch of big ass story in that. That was really awesome. And um, he was just badass. He was like a gray Jedi, essentially. Mm -hmm. And um, and then and then, you know, Clone Wars came along, and then we have the Lucas Story Group now. So like a bunch of that shit is not continuity anymore. But the uh, the the Clone Wars animated series, he still is technically, because of the Clone Wars animated series. And then they did a book called uh, like Dark Apprentice or some shit like that. Um, fuck, what was it called? Dark Alliance? I don't remember. But it was him teaming up with Asajj Ventress, and that was really good. Um, they, uh... Why? Oh, for And, like, he was so cool, like, George Lucas specifically told the people that wrote the comic books that when they got to Order 66 in the comic books, not, not to kill him off. <laughs> right. Good guy, George. Thanks so he survived. Well, George was thinking about using him in that live-action uh, TV show he was going to do for a while, too. Oh. Like, George really fucking liked I Quinlan Boss. I still but... think that that, like, I mean, you know, with so many superhero movie, like, TV shows, yeah. a Star Wars TV show, like a live-action one, would be, I mean, there, it's, I mean there's no better time But for But, it. well, at the time, though, when they was working on it, there was none of that shit. No, not then, but no. I'm talking, like, now, because yeah. I mean... Now is, like, the golden but age now of it's television. Disney. But now Disney oh, yeah. is, like, fucking... Television movie tie-ins, like... Disney's latched on on the teat. I mean, I'm sure they're trying to find a way. Well, well, no, they, well yeah, when they cause, when I mean, they acquired it, they they threw C-3PO and R2 in one of their stupid like happy fun like colorful shows like those really yeah. kitty. Well, and they, and shows. and they started including Leia and like Disney princess shit and like. Well, which is cool. That's yeah. Sweet. That's sweet. I think I think also they they have the unique position of I mean they, but I mean they, they obviously are 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 going to, uh, like, know that it's worth the risk at this point with all the Marvel shit. All the Marvel TV shows. Aside from the ones they've tried on their actual networks that don't really do so well. Um, They should just do Dexter Dexter's Diner. (laughs) Cheers! cheers. That would be the best. Um... This but I'm sure eventually... They're pretty comfortable pretty comfortable just doing animated series right now. But we've got. And those, Reb, those they are just great. Announced, those are great. But live action stuff. Yeah. Yeah. They I just an, see some. They well, just announced that um, the the next season of Star Wars Rebels will be the last one. Really. Um. So that's they've got open for Star Wars TV at this point. Right. I'm sure yeah. they're planning. I'm sure Dave Filoni, the guy who does who did uh, Clone Wars and Rebels, is working on some shit. I mean, if you have a but if still. you have a division like Industrial Light and Magic, like Industrial Light and Light and Magic working on a, a TV series, yeah, would be awesome. You know, it would just look top notch. Yeah, like Quinlan Voss, like just oh that, man, that's that's after he survives Order sixty six on Kashyyyk. Just a <laughs> wild man. Yeah, <laughs> he's the shit. Yeah, but man, I would I would really like that. It's right. It goes bad like, for it, a little bit. Do you, do, you, do you think it would uh, be better to go with, like, the current No, I, I think or... we had this discussion. Sean and I had this discussion, like, like things from, you know, uh, Phantom Menace on, Phantom I think, Menace. are just leave that the way it's it is. But, like, darker. always, if you want to start something new, always go back to, like, the Old Republic stuff. Yeah, that's so what I'm saying. Much well, right there, there's, 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 there's the, like, because... You can get origin stories for a bunch of shit. Yeah. You can get mythos beyond it, and like you don't have to worry about it conflicting with all that shit. I know. That's why, like, <laughs> that's why when the story group shit, oh, there he is. Ooh. Boba, we'll actually get back to this in the next episode. Yep. Be right back. Bye. Whoa.